This is Hart, and I'm at Earth and Spirit Center with... Hi, my name is Lena, and I'm an intern here. I'm Zoe, and I'm also an intern. So what we have here are holes, and we don't know exactly what uh, made these holes. Maybe they're snakes, maybe they're crayfish, but different things can make holes in the ground. But the point is that there's a whole ecosystem that goes on underneath the ground. And so we need to take care of, of all living things uh, for because we depend on all living things. Uh, but it, you know, it could be, it, but we need, we need to take care of the ground and let there be enough moisture in the ground. Uh, and we need to not, you know, bulldoze uh, over all the ground whenever we can keep from it. And what, what else? Uh, how, how else can we take care of, uh, you know, the ground and the things that live underneath it? Uh, uh, it's important to just like, uh, like you said, don't bulldoze over it. Watch where you step. Don't senselessly like just uh, fill them up like I know little kids like to do. There are organisms that live under the ground that make habitats under the ground and use these holes to come out. Like this hole is next to a small waterway, so whoever lives here could use this to get water to get food from the surrounding area. So if you just senselessly cover it up, fill it up, or do anything, you can take away that animal's access to um, things that it needs, like water, food, sunlight, anything that it needs to survive. Um, of course, like. They could, if uh, an argument could be that they could just uh, dig it back up again, but it could be very difficult for them.